Good morning, you gorgeous people. It's Michelle from Monoling Furniture again in blue sky, chilly Sydney. It's actually a beautiful day. Today, we're gonna get stuck into this coffee table. It feels like it's been a while since I've done a coffee table, so I'm quite looking forward to it. Let's have a quick look. Right, we're doing this one in Vintage Bird um, Furniture Paint. This is their mineral paint in the colour Sweet Sage. I've used this a lot. I love it. Love, love, love it. So the top is going to be stained. I'm going to take it back to raw and see where we're at. I want to keep it light. So it may be Cats and Millie Cuttlefish with possibly a little bit of something else mixed in to bring out some wood tones. We'll just have a look. We'll play that by ear. You know, no change there. So I'll go Vintage Bird. Now the Vintage Bird is a mineral paint. It's got a built-in top coat, but it's a matte one. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wax this. I think. That's my plan. Who knows? So first things first, I'm going to sand this with a 120 grit. And I'm using, I get these disc pads, uh, disc, sanding discs from Sleek Brushes Australia. This is a 120 grit. These discs are really good quality. They last well. So this is my new go-to place. Highly recommended. And I've got my sander hooked up to my, what's it called? Karcher shop bank. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. There wasn't a specific attachment to hook it up to this so i've taped it on and that's it you just switch this on switch the vacuum on switch that on and away and this actually turns into a vacuum itself it's really good anyway i'll speed up the process as i'm doing this because it's going to be noisy Top is sanded, back to raw. It's beautiful. I knew it would be beautiful. I love doing these coffee tables. Um, I've scuffed sanded it all over with a 120 grit and I've cleaned it with white lightning, Dixie Bell white lightning, and then I've rinsed it off with clean water to get off any residue from the white lightning. The reason for that is the white lightning is also a deglosser, so it leaves a little bit of a residue. So, um, just clean that off and as I said I haven't changed my mind I'm going in with sweet sage right and I am using my Lignacolor 50ml round brush these drawers don't come out it's always the case with these ones I don't know why they don't come out so I just leave them in sorry I've interrupted right yeah, I, I can't remember what I'm, where I cut off. So I'm anticipating this would be probably two and a half coats. And it will be beautiful. I mean, it's green, so you know I'm gonna love it. But more importantly than that, the customer also loves green. And so she is gonna love it. So I'm excited for her to see it. Just quickly show you the second coat going on. So the first coat looks like it's quite transparent. The second coat is like magic. It's given like a full, full coverage. So this is going to be 2.5 coats. As I suspected. It's really gorgeous. Harp is very needy today. She's got her head on my lap here as I'm painting. Let's see if I can show you. Bless her. She's a mummy's girl. So I've actually put three full coats of the Sweet Sage and it's it's beautiful. Um, like I said, I don't need to wax it because it does have a built-in top coat, but I think I will, but I, I'll just go with clear wax. I don't think I need any white. So what I'm gonna do now is just smooth sand this. Actually, I'll just do it by hand. 
because it's really smooth already. So this is just a 240 grit that I buy in rolls from uh, Sleep Brushes Australia. So all I'm doing is just taking the roughness off and preparing that for the stain. And I'm really not going to put much of a stain on at all. I'm going to put Cart's Millie Cuttlefish on, which is a whitewash. Um, but I'll put it, it on very, I won't put it on very thick at all because all I want to do is stop any natural red coming through. And then I'll finish it off with a Dixie Belle top coat. Right, Cats and Millie washed away in cuttlefish and I'm using the Dixie Bar Gator Hide sponge. Like I said, I'm not doing this really to, to create a whitewash. See, it's going on very light. All I want to do is stop so that if I put a clear coat on, um, then the natural red would come through, which I don't really want. So I'm just going to dull that a little bit. I want to see the tone, but I, the, the notches and everything and all the grain, but I don't want to see red. So, I'm just toning that down a little bit. This is an easy way to do that. Right, so the stain's on. Whilst I'm waiting for that to dry, which honestly, it's almost dry instantly. It's so good. Um, that confused me. Um, I'm gonna go in with a wax. Um, this is the clear, but in the tub it's white. So this is Dixie Belle Best Stang Wax, but trust me, it's clear. And I'm going to apply with Dixie Bell Best Dang Brush. So people use this for both blending and for wax. Um, as you can see, I've been using it for black wax. It's a bit of a mess. Anyway, let's get this sucker waxed. So I just brush it on any old hair, really. You just want to get it into the paint and then you come back later and buff it off so you buff off any excess and then you're left with a lovely smooth buttery finish and it's easy no brush strokes I haven't sanded this by the way don't need to it's um base here it's silky smooth already Okay, time to get some top coat on. I'm going in with Dixie Belle clear coat in satin and I'm using my Lignicolor 60ml flat brush. How many different products have I used today? Vintage Bird, Dixie Belle, Lignicolor and Carts and Millie. That's pretty good. So on I go, nice and easy. And I'll do two or three coats of this. I don't know what it says on the pot, I don't read it. But you should. Read away. Shouldn't they, perhaps? Always read. But then if you find out that I'm doing something wrong, just put it in the comments. <laughs> Save me reading it. No, generally I learn by my mistakes, so I soon find out if I'm doing something wrong. But seriously, who's got time to read instructions all the time? I've got furniture to flip. This goes on so easily. Really nice. Really like this. Some of the satin coat, top coats are quite thick and they don't self level, which basically leaves you with brush, mo uh, brush strokes. And that's the last thing you want after all the work you've done on your prep and your sanding for the top coat to leave you with brush strokes. That is so disheartening. So find a good top coat. And my suggestion is the best ones are not so thick. 
the satin ones are generally a little thicker but um yeah this one this one lays out really nicely and levels off nicely Bailey. Bailey, no one... right clearly we've got a delivery coming so i'll just go and deal with that the next time you'll see this girl she'll begin a stage or she will be staged i'm putting the same hardware back on her so that's nice and easy right it's only 12 30 and this one is a wrap isn't she beautiful i can't wait to show her to the customer she's been having a really rough time health wise recently and um i think this is going to put a smile on her face it's just beautiful thank you as always for sticking with me on this one guys um it was a quick one it's nice she's a beauty I'll get some lovely photos now, send it over to the customer, and then she'll be on her way probably tomorrow. So that's really nice. It's nice when you can do that for someone. Anyway, thanks for sticking with me. As I said, um, look forward to seeing you on the next time. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you next time. Take care.